So if you want to build yourself a Ryzen system and you're wondering, is it worth upgrading from Ryzen 5 to Ryzen 7? What about the performance gain between Ryzen 7 and Ryzen 9? And what about Ryzen 9 to Ryzen 9? Is there a performance difference? How much are you going to gain as a creator? That's exactly what we're going to be talking about. Let's go. Looking for a cheap way to license your windows? Check out WhoKeys through the links in the video description. Make sure to use the code TN20 to get a 30% off. Paste the license to the activation settings and you're all done. This license is for Windows 10, but you can upgrade it to Windows 11 for free. They also offer Microsoft Office 19 license. Use the same code TN20 to get a 30% off. Check out WhoKeys.com in the video description below. So I have made already this video for Intel system. If you haven't seen the i5 to i7 to i9 video, then feel free to check it out. I'll leave it in the description below. But let's straight away start from Cinebench R23. The Ryzen 7 is about extra 1.3% faster than the Ryzen 5 in single core score and about 30% better in the multi core score. The Ryzen 9 7900X is extra 2.5% faster in the single core score compared to the Ryzen 7 and extra 48% faster compared to the Ryzen 7 on the multi core score. The Ryzen 9 7950X compared to 7900 X is extra 0.5% faster and 30% faster in the single and multi core scores respectively. In Geekbench 5 we're seeing very very similar results so there's no point really talking about them but the Ryzen 9 7950X gets a bit of a less boost compared to the 7900X, about 0.3 in single core score and about 18.05 in the multi core score. Moving on to Blender, we can see quite a good scaling in the CPUs here. The Ryzen 7 is about 30% faster compared to the Ryzen 5. The Ryzen 9 7900X is extra 50 to 53% faster compared to the Ryzen 7. And then the other Ryzen 9 7950X is extra 30% faster than the Ryzen 9 7900X. Ryzen should change the naming. It should be like Ryzen 11 or something like that. Or the Ryzen 5 should be Ryzen 3. So we have 3, 5, 7, 9, like we have an Intel. Right now, it's a bit confusing. Why is there two Ryzen 9s and Anyway, in Photoshop, the Ryzen 7 is 6% faster than the Ryzen 5. The Ryzen 9 7900X is actually slightly slower than the Ryzen 7, which is very, very interesting. It's only slightly slower, about 0.4%, but it is slower. And the Ryzen 9 7950X is between 3 to 8% faster in the Photoshop application compared to the Ryzen 7900X. Moving on to Lightroom Classic, the Ryzen 7 is 11% faster than the 7600X, which is quite a big gain here now, but the Ryzen 9 7900X is extra 13% or 14% faster compared to the Ryzen 7, and then the Ryzen 9 7950X is actually slightly slower than the 7900X, and performs about 1.7% slower. So here the 16 cores are actually hindrance in the performance compared to the Ryzen 9 7900X on 12 cores. In Premiere Pro, we can see about 5% increase with the Ryzen 7 7700X over the Ryzen 5, and the 7900X gets extra 13.5% increase in performance, and then the 7950X gets extra 11% increase in performance over the 7900X. So all of the percentages here, if you didn't get it already, are compared to the previous kind of model. So Ryzen 7 is compared to Ryzen 5, Ryzen 9 is compared to Ryzen 7, and then Ryzen 9 2 is compared to the Ryzen 9, previous Ryzen 9, basically. In After Effects, the Ryzen 7 is about 5 to 6% faster over the Ryzen 5. The Ryzen 9 is extra 5.6% faster compared to the Ryzen 7. And then the 7950X is extra 6.3% faster compared to the Ryzen 7900X. But as you can see, in the GPU score, we're losing a bit of performance and tracking score isn't as good now uh, than on the 7900X. And interestingly, the 7700X is actually faster in tracking score than the 7900X and the 7950X. In DaVinci Resolve here, we can see that the 7700X is 13% faster compared to the 7600X. So there's quite a big gap over there. But then the 7900X is extra 1.8 or roughly 2% faster than the Ryzen 7. Only marginal increase in performance. And the 7950X gets extra 
3 to 6% increase compared to the 7900X. So there's a massive gap between 7600X compared to the 7700X, but not that big of a gap between 7900X than the 7950X. In V-Ray, the 7700X is 30 or 28.4% faster than the Ryzen 5. The Ryzen 9 7900X is about 106% faster than the 7700X, which is absolutely amazing, thinking that we're only getting 50% more cores, but we're getting double the performance. The 7950X here is actually slightly slower compared to the 7900X, so the 16 cores perform slower than the 12 cores, which is just very interesting for me. So what's the takeaway from this video? There's a big gap between Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7, and quite a big gap between Ryzen 7 to Ryzen 9, depending on the application, that is the 7900X. Compared to the 7950X, the 7900X seems much better bang for buck because the price increase is ridiculous compared to the 12 to 16 cores, but we're only getting marginal amount of increase when we go into the 16 cores. So if you're looking for the best bang for buck CPU, high-end CPU, then I think the 7900X is a much better pick. If you do want to pick up any of these, then check out the latest pricing in the description below because there you can see the pricing and price increase to really see what's the price increase in terms of percentage and how much performance you're going to gain to really figure it out for your workflow if it's worth upgrading. And I highly recommend you go check out the individual reviews of these CPUs because we're going to go more in depth about certain things like memory controllers, how much power they consume and how do they compare with Intel processors. So is it a really good pick to pick? But if you're already decided on the Ryzen system, then here's the performance increase of the different models. If you do want to build yourself best bang for buck, create a PC, then check out the create the PC build guide in the description below. It's a four part series, pick up the video that is closest to your budget and then watch the video. You'll see upgrades and downgrades there so you can really configure it to your needs and build the best bang for book pc for you check it out in the description below likes and subs and i'll see you next time bye bye